we will learn the compressor. So this is an example of a typical compressor in a refrigeration cycle. So there are different parts of a compressor. Normally reciprocating or scroll or screw compressor is used. It compresses the refrigerant vapor and increases the pressure and temperature. We will make a detailed video for the compressor. Since the vapor is compressed here, this cycle is called vapor compression cycle. So what is the main function of the compressor in refrigeration cycle? Main functions are circulation of refrigerant, increase vaporization in evaporator and help to heat rejection. Let us try to understand. So this is the impeller of the compressor and it is connected to a motor. When motor runs, impeller will also rotate. The rotation of compressor impeller creates a low pressure here. And low pressure means definitely it will take the refrigerant vapor from the evaporator. So this refrigerant is low pressure and slightly moderate temperature. So low pressure and slightly moderate temperature refrigerant enters into the compressor. And after the compression, refrigerant vapor change into high pressure and high temperature. So basically it creates a pressure differential at inlet low pressure and outlet high pressure. So this pressure differential helps to flow the refrigerant inside the refrigeration cycle. So this is the compressor and this is the evaporator and here is the compressor inlet. Now the evaporator and compressor connected by a refrigerant pipe and refrigerant vapor circulates from the evaporator to compressor. Since compressor sucks the refrigerant vapor, there will be a low pressure within this evaporator and it helps to increase the evaporation process in the evaporator. See it takes the refrigerant vapor from the evaporator. Now let us consider a hot body at 60 degree centigrade temperature and another hot body as 100 degree centigrade temperature. And one cold body is 45 degree centigrade and here also one cold body is at 45 degree centigrade. Now what do you think? Where heat will transfer fast? In the first one or the second one? Definitely in the second one as the temperature differential is more 100 degree centigrade to 45 degree centigrade. It is same as the water flow from high heat to low heat. And this is the evaporator outlet. The temperature is less. Now we have to remove the heat to the atmosphere. So here comes compressor. It increases the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant. Basically it increases the temperature differential and helps to remove the heat. Compressor will not remove the heat but it will help to remove the heat.